Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to go through the regex replace function and a lot of examples of it and some other useful features of regex replace function. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, let's get started. So regex replace allows you to, uh, just like the string replace function, allows you to replace pattern matches using regex with a replacement. So this is the string that I'm putting in, and this is my regex pattern, which looks for all the numbers. And this is the replace term, which is going to replace all the numbers with the letter X. So that's the basics of how it works in regex replace. So let me just go ahead and show you the result and explain to you what's happening here. So the first example we've got is the numbers being replaced with X as we have discussed. And the second example limits the number of replaces. So the fourth parameter you put in, one, two, three, four, four fifth parameter, I'm sorry. In the fifth parameter, if you put in a number of two, say for example, then it limits the number of replaces to two. And so that's just gonna replace one and two, the first hits, first two hits instead of all of it. Now this parameter is something I'm gonna discuss in a little bit later, so bear with me. And the third example we've got is, is a negative class or the not operator. So this is gonna replace everything except for numbers with axes. So ABC is not numbers, so that's gonna be replaced as you see here with the axis. And then uh, the next one is you are replacing all the small letters and capital letter alphabets into zero, so you're getting uh, one, two, three, ABC, ABC being replaced with zeros like that. And then the next one is you're just limiting the replaces uh, for the small letters A to Z. So only A to Z will be replaced. So uh, the remaining we are not replaced, but A, B, C, D. And then the next one is to replace uh, using the prime. It's basically an OR operator, right? So it's replacing A, E, G, O, I with axis. So that's how you get. Uh, the result like that and then the next one is basically the same so the pipes are optional so if, even if you don't put in the pipes it's still going to replace either of a e g i or any other letters or characters that you put in now the last example might be useful if you are doing some tidying up of a string for example where you have multiple um, spaces inside the string that you need to replace with a single string so that's a replace term whereas our regex pattern will be a space followed by a plus sign which represents one or more occurrence of the preceding character which is the space so this replaces all the multiple spaces with just one space now let's just say this time you have a string that has multiple line breaks in this manner so you've got a string that even starts with a line break and there's a line break here along the line break here and you have multiple line breaks and you don't like that let's say you want to replace that with a single line break so you see multi and line right after that instead of seeing multiple in unnecessary line breaks then you can use the regex replace to replace the line breaks with a single line break so this is a line feed and that's carriage return right and that makes it if either one of this or either one of this or that one exists one or multiple times then replace it with the line a single line feed right so in this way you are able to replace multiple line breaks uh, with just a single one and also if you have a string that starts with a line break initially which you don't like you want to get rid of then you can use the l trim to get rid of that as well so this one will just remove the multiple line breaks so you can see all the multiple line breaks are gone however you still have a line break here but if you use the l trim then you're not going to have a line break and i can simply show you the proof of it by I'm putting into my clipboard the second result and if I paste it let's say if I paste it here then I'm not going to get any line breaks up here so if I paste it it just gets pasted in without the line break initially so we know that then the line break in the beginning of the string is gone so when you pull out some data from some databases sometimes you will have these multiple line breaks right which you don't like then you can use the auto hockey uh, line breaks um, sorry regex replace to tidy up your your string now 
in, if you want to remove special characters so if, for example for whatever reason you have a lot of special characters you can you can simply put in a regex pattern that uh, will replace that so here i haven't put in any replace terms which means i'm just going to remove it entirely and replace it with nothing so if i go ahead and run it i uh, will have the cleaned up data without any special characters that follow the numbers and I've actually just removed the entire number. I think uh, and so that is because of this, this digit character class. If I remove that one, then we're going to get just the uh, special characters removed. So if you want to remove the numbers as well, then you can use, as you have seen, this digit character class together with the plus sign um, to account for multiple occurrences of that. So before I have explained to you how there is another parameter that goes into a fourth parameter, which I haven't mentioned. So fourth parameter counts the number of replacements, which means whatever that gets matched and gets replaced will be counted and then will be output into a variable like that. This is useful if you want to count how many occurrences of your regex pattern matches were there in your regex replace. So here I've got um, ABC and then the digit character. Uh, followed by the plus sign so what this is going to do is it's going to look at abc and then look for a number and as long as there is a number it's going to keep gobbling up until it hits no numbers so once it hits no numbers it will start again abc and then numbers and then stop here and then so on and so forth so if i go ahead and run this and i will get a number of four which represents the number of occurrence of my regex pattern so that's basically how you use the regex replace function and now I'm going to walk you through some other useful features of a regex replace function and the first one of it is using it as back references or use the back references of it and the other one is to change the cases of the alphabetical letters now starting with the back references so back references what it basically does is you have a dollar sign here dollar signs represent the nth pet sub pattern that you are capturing so for example you've got sub patterns and five of them here right so the first dollar sign that you see here will represent the first sub pattern you capture and then the second will represent the second dollar sign and the third one will represent the third dollar sign and so on and so forth now when you capture the sub patterns in this manner what you're able to do is you can switch the positions around uh, within the string that you provide so for example let me go ahead and run this what i'm getting here is my original feed is abc xyz one two three abc xyz right which are captured into sub patterns one to five and i have in my first part of my replaced string the first sub pattern which means i'm not going to change the position of abc whereas the second one so in my replace string the second pattern is going to be the fourth pattern this pattern which is going to be the capital letter abc and that's how you see in the result and the third one is going to be kept the same the third pattern is going to be in the third position whereas the fourth one is going to be switched to this one so x y z will show up here as you can see and then the fifth one stays the same now it doesn't mean that you have to use all these sub patterns in this manner you can also just repeat the first sub pattern multiple times or any other pet sub patterns multiple times and you can also put in a random string like this in your replace term and then um, other sub patterns like that so in this example um, i have just repeated the first sub pattern multiple times and then the third sub pattern which is uh, so this one is not captured, right? So this is the third sub pattern that we have captured, which is going to be ABC. And therefore you see ABC in capital letters here, and then followed by a random string called hello. And then the second sub pattern, which is captured by this one, which is XYZ. So this is how you use the back reference and how this can be used in real life is that you can say if you work in a company or if you deal with data that uses dates both in US and UK sometimes different systems would store dates in different formats and you need to convert from say month day 
year to day, month, year, right? So let's say I've got a, a list of dates like that, and if I want to switch from this to um, the other date format. So right now, let's just assume that this is the American date format or US date format. So this is the month and this is the date, and this is the year. I want to switch this around to date, month, year, then you can use a line like that. And I've got a clipboard um, variable here, which I'm going to assign the result of the regex replace. So what I'm getting is I'm converting this into, so I'm converting this bit into the what's shown in the message box, which gets captured into my clipboard. And you can see that the date and the month have been switched around. So you can uh, paste that out into your result uh, wherever. And you can also switch back from the UK to US and the methodology is the same basically. So I've got the same string and this time I've got the UK version. So this is the 1st of May, June, July and etc. So if I go ahead and run this, then I'll get the result back out in the American date format, which I can paste out into any way I want. Here is another example where I am changing instead of from UK to US and vice versa. I'm changing from month, date, year to sometimes some countries go by the year first and then the month and date, right? And and so I've got what's what looks be a May 1st in 2021, June 1st, 2021, converted into 2021 May and 1st date of May. Okay, so that's some useful case of regex replace uh, through using the back reference. And if I want to use the regex replace to change the cases of letters, you can do it in this manner. So I've explained to you how you can uh, use the dollar sign to refer to back references and switch the positions of uh, or words around or characters around or male matches around. So right now, what I'm doing here is I have around this part, so I'm switching, I'm doing a match of may be used as, and I am switching the positions of the matches around. So you can see how there's used here. So I match that term right here. And so my regex pattern has matched these four words and I have here switched the positions of the four words around backwards and then also put in a square bracket to denote where it has been changed. Now I'm going to convert this into a different case. So in this example, I haven't changed any cases, but with um, back references like in this manner. So I've got the dollar sign to, to mean back reference and then T. T represents title or proper case, which converts the first character of your words into a capital letter. And U means uppercase and L means lowercase. So dollar sign T4 means I want the fourth sub pattern to be converted into title case or the proper case. And dollar sign U3 means I want the third sub pattern convert it into uppercase and that is to convert this one into lowercase and this is to convert this one into title case and notice how there is curly braces here this is optional as long as you don't put in numbers higher than nine so if you put in if you put in a figure uh, of 10 or above then you need to put that in and as well as if you put in a sub pattern name here, you can also put in create a sub pattern name, right? So you can put in sub pattern name in this manner in order to in order to mean just that. So let me go ahead and run this and the result I get this time is so it's around here, right? So I can see that the uh, the first so the first word that I see here is as which is this one which is captured by this first sub pattern. And the first letter of the word as has been converted into capital and used is entirely converted into capital. This is the third sub pattern, which is replaced into the second position. And then B is all low, low case, which was already the K. Oh no, it was a capital letter before and it has been converted into small letters. And then may, 
uh, which has been converted, where is May, May, May CL, right? Which has been converted into title case and placed at the back. All right, so that's how you can convert the case of the of the alphabetical letters. And I'm just going to show you as the last thing um, where I'm using named sub patterns. So I'm giving these sub patterns names, right? Names, names, and I'm using the names to refer referred to in my back references. So in my first example, I have got, I'm using the same text and I am matching the same thing, um, something, something used. So it's gonna be may be used. It's gonna match this one. And I've given the first sub pattern a name of first word, and then the second one of second word. And then in my replaced string, I'm going to put the second word going by the name of the sub pattern into the first spot and then the, the uh, first word into the second spot and then uh, keep used as it is. So this is going to give me just that. So it's basically referring to the name of the back or name of the sub pattern instead of numbers from one to whatever. And in the next example, I am using a dollar sign. So if you have a dollar sign in your string, so I've got a dollar sign here, right? You need to provide an escape sequence in order to literally mean the dollar sign. So I have got the dollar sign here. So let's say I'm, I'm trying to match this, right? And the first one is going to be, then it's going to be this one. And then the next one is going to be available. And I am, this is like sort of like an anchor. This is a key. I am putting in a pattern of dollar sign Wikipedia. And because dollar sign is a special character that requires an escape sequence, which is backslash, uh, you put in your uh, dollar sign or your backslash like this to mean the dollar sign literally. Now, according to the documentation, if you want in your replace term, also keep the dollar sign, you need to provide two dollar signs to mean a single dollar sign. So if I go ahead and run this, I uh, will get um, available and is switched around because I'm putting the second word into the first position and the first word into the second position and keeping the Wikipedia with the dollar sign as it is. Now, as per my testing, even though the documentation said I need to put in two dollar signs, even if I put in one dollar sign here, it still keeps the dollar sign as it is. So you can just put in a single dollar sign in fact, but you still have to, oh, the second message box here. So you've got the dollar sign here. You still have to uh, escape this with the dollar sign because otherwise it's not going to match that. So in this message box, the words is and available were supposed to have been switched around, but it hasn't been switched around in this case. So let me just remove this and put in the escape sequence, then I'll see available and is switched around, right? But if I remove the escape sequence, then it's not going to be able to find the match because the dollar sign needs to be escaped. Uh, so this is it for the regex replace. And in my next video and the videos after that, I'm going to show you a lot more examples that potentially have real life applications of using regular expression. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.